Todd, you're gonna wake Todd up. It's okay. I'm awake anyway. Morning. Oh, it's half ten. Should have got a meal before. You oh. need your sleep. You, you work so many hours in the week, I worry about you. Yeah, but all the same. I get so little time with you. I don't want to spend it sleeping. I know. We've just got to make some time to ourselves somehow. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do today. Oh. Just me and you. Just the two of us. What about Bethany? Oh, it's arranged. She's going out with a nana. What? Your mum? I thought you, you No, to... Nana Brenda. You like going out with your Nana Brenda, don't you? <laughs> yes. Does she buy you things? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're all going to be happy. Bethany and Nana Brenda. And you and me. And our own. Oh, it's really nice of you to take her out. Oh, it's my pleasure. She's such a lovely child. She's a real credit to you. You can take her anywhere. She's always well behaved. Where are you off today, then? Oh, well, we'll have to see, won't we, Bethany? We might go to the park and feed the ducks, eh? Oh, that reminds me. You know, last time you took her out, mm -hmm. she was saying something about seeing her daddy. I think she said something like that. I couldn't quite work it out. Oh, she must have meant my photographs and Neil. That's what it would be. Ah, that's what it must have been. Right, you. You must be a good girl for your Nana Brenda, OK? Oh, she's always good. Now, say goodbye to Mummy and Todd. Bye-bye. Mwah. Bye. Have a That's time. it. We shan't be too late back. Come oh, on then. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. See you, Bethany. Oh, it's really nice to get a bit of time to ourselves. I mean, I love her to pieces, but sometimes it's just like... Mmm, it certainly is. So, what do you fancy doing? I'll give you two guesses. Now we'll go and get the bus, shall we? And you can sit by the window. Would you like that? I can't tell you, Hayley, how much I detest that woman. You don't need to. And the more I see her, the more I despise myself for having gone anywhere near her. We can put up with it. Who, who is that with Bethany? Oh, it's a, it's a granny. A other granny, not Gail, obviously. Just keep thinking about your baby, Roy. Our baby. That's what's going to make this all worthwhile. Now, put your flowers down for Daddy. There we go. Next time we'll bring a little vase to put them in. Oh, your Daddy would be so pleased you're bringing flowers to give him. Um, ah. But your Daddy's not here. This is just where we come to think about him. Your Daddy's gone to a beautiful place now. And he knows you care about him, and he's very happy. <laughs> we'll go and see him one day. In another life. In a better world than this one, and that's called heaven. It's where all the people who've been good go to. But the bad people don't go there. Adulterers and... Fornicators and whoremongers, they don't go there, oh no. People like your grandfather. He left your daddy and me. He didn't want us, he'd no use for us. He wanted sluts and vicious little trollops. He'll go to a different place. A place where they punish bad people and make them sorry for what they've done. Oh yeah, they're sorry then. But it's too late to be sorry. But we won't go there, you and me. Now we'll go to that lovely place where your daddy's gone, where everybody's happy forever and ever and ever. I know. Why don't we go and get you an ice cream? Yeah. Shall we do that? There we go. Off we go. Hey, hey, <laughs> come, come, come back. <laughs> right, go on. Right, I'll make the tea. We're down to our last tea bag again. Oh, I meant to get someone and I forgot. It's okay. You can share it. Who needs money? We've got us. Hey? Yeah. Hey, it's six o'clock. Beth will be back any time soon. Well, you're not worried about her, are you? No. She's fine with Brenda. It's just when she's been gone a few hours, I start to miss her. Bit silly, I suppose. No, no, it's not silly at all. I miss her too. But you're happy with me, though, aren't you? I mean, when there's just the two of us. Yeah, of course I'm happy. You're not gone off me, then? No, I'll never go off you. Let's brought this on.
I don't know really. I, I was just thinking how lucky I am because I've got you. And how awful it'd be if I ever lost you. Well, you won't because I love you and I always will. Sarah, why don't we have a baby? Yours and mine. What do you think? 